Hey folks, we're back with another terrain building video. In this one, I'm going to go over a new workflow that seems promising uh, for what I'm looking to achieve. This terrain was sculpted in Gaia, which is a quad spinner product, not to be confused with Gaia of Unity and Procedural Worlds. And what it is, is a an editor uh, there's a free version, community version, that, that limits the resolution to 1K exports, uh, which is what I have here. But it goes, I mean, this is movie quality cinematic stuff, uh, what it can output, even 8K, more, more than that. Um, 16K. So, this was my original this is the rendering that, that I was able to achieve from my original concept in my mind um, and it took I guess about a day or two of really digging into Gaia to get it to the point where I felt like I had precision um, now along the line I ran into something you're probably familiar with mid journey where you have can imagine it's a discord app or discord bot excuse me that you can feed it um, instructions and it'll generate imagery so it actually gave me some ideas that was even richer than I originally had pictured so I kind of took what I had here uh, in Gaia and brought it into unity and then kind of worked a little bit more now as you can tell this has a texture map applied and that can be built as an image map I haven't really worked too much with that in unity to import I didn't believe it would really be that good of a texture so I actually came across let me, let me jump over to I came across this tool um, now it's a terrain generator as well and as you can see it, it makes terrains that are quite impressive uh, I I played with this a couple days and I, and I think maybe with more work I'll, I'll have that sense of the power of creating what I wanted but in this case in this example that I'm giving I'm really just using map magic for the terrain texturing of a single tile but if you're not aware this actually will create endless terrains and generate um, for you and that's a node based tool and this is the complexity of my terrain mapping maybe it doesn't need to be I'm still new but what the benefit of this is uh, at least for me what I was really looking for was a cavity filter because Previously, I've demonstrated Vegetation Studio, and you can apply textures with rules, but is limited to slope and height. And this has slope, height, cavity, and some other things as well um, that I'm still getting familiar with. But as you can see here in in the crevice, it's it's a different texture than the rock, the outside rock, and. So, um, I'll do a quick fly through just so you can kind of see where I got. Now, this has Enviro Sky and it has um, some post processing just to give it a softer look and a fog, atmospheric fog. So, this world was originally done in Gaia and then I did do some shaping after the fact. And then the textures were applied to map magic, and that seems to be a good balance between the procedural, you know, automatic and kind of any kind of custom work you want to do. So I'm going to do another video where I'm going to go over and um, go with and create another world. This will be a, a snow ice world, sort of a moon, a sci-fi theme. Um, barren landscape and uh yeah i hope you join me and see you there and i'll go into more detail on each stage of this process so thanks